Yoni, Miss Akina Shibi in Ninkomo, Ghana Chamber of Air Telecommunications, or more up in your door money in Ninkomo, not ENG, some scots in Queen Hall. Miss Ashibi, good morning, and I pray in Bundy Zane. Yes, I do me away. The radiacy. There are two issues I a percent more clarify my one has to do with a year. Uh, data protection concerns are among for AWG with respect to the data that is being collected. And you be a, who is collecting the data and storing the data that telcos are collecting? So, but you've answered the, the question yourself. Who is collecting the data that the telcos are collecting? So yes, the telcos but are answer... collecting the data. They are using an app that has been produced by uh, that has been produced by the NTA. The data is collected and the data is stored at meter. So NCA has the server that is where your information goes to. The so Nita has the data center, mm. you know, that stores the data. Okay. Now this data that Nita is storing, is it in any way connected to the data that is collected by the NIA? So if you look at the processes that we uh, that the SIM registration goes through. Mm. There's a first one that you do, the star 404 that you do, that in pulls data from the NIA and is used to do the linkage. Then there is the biometrics that are collected uh, when you go and do your bio, the bio capture. Mm. That is stored, that the NTA collects through the app and it's stored at meter. All right, so as we speak now, have you been able to synchronize your data with that of the uh, yeah, one that uh, the NIA collected? You you should speak to the NCA uh, about that. You know, so they control that data. So NC, the NCA should be able to to tell you that, or the NIA should be able to tell you that. All right. Now the decision to extend the registration exercise. Uh, uh, as telcos more uh, inputs as to the, that decision no, now at the same what did no, you tell them? we had we had an extensive you know the the telcos have regular meetings with uh, the nta the technical meetings that are had on mm. a constant basis with the nta and so uh, when the timeline was coming the we had a meeting between the ministry the nta and and then the the telcos and then NCA's technical partner, so far as the SIM registration is concerned. Mm. So we made, uh, you know, our, our, our views were sought, you know, in mm. terms of, uh, you know, what to do. But you know that at the end of the day, you make your views. But this is a regulated industry. Mm. So, and if this is not even a, the regulator's decision to take. This is the policy maker's decision to take. So finally, after making all those inputs to the minister, the minister, you know, you would then take the decision in terms of what to do. But there was definitely that very wide, you know, and fruitful consultation that took place before the announcement. Now, if the minister had stood her grounds, or the ministry had stood their grounds and said, said the last month deadline, or and one almost took it by her, how would it have affected your activities as telcos? Would it have in any way? No, well, well definitely, you, if you look at the numbers that have uh, are, are registered, uh, they are SIMs, you know, it's about 42,000, a million. Mm. What do you expect? If you look at the numbers that have registered, you know, it's, it's quite, a, a, you know, a low number. And definitely anything that affects um, the consumer affects not only the telco affect the country as well. You realize the fact that for every SIM that makes a call, there's a, uh, the CST that, uh, that the communication service tax that is paid. It mm. is uh, those SIMs that are also connected to mobile money. Uh, that's how e-levy is collected. And so uh, even in terms of government um, uh, uh, tax, you know, that, that could be impacted then also uh, when those calls are made, the telcos also, you know, generate some revenues out of that, you know, the, but most importantly, you know, you know that for citizens as well, uh, this is the means for not just connecting, but, you know, running our businesses, living our lives and all of that. So definitely the impact, uh, you know, would be severe. And I'm pretty sure those were the issues that um, the minister took into consideration.
mm. before uh, you know uh, taking the decision that uh, she took on uh, Sunday, be it she took it reluctantly, and sometimes you can understand a bit of that. That as that decision was being taken, there were people who were in the queues, you know. But once the minister took the decision, they they all left, mm. you know. So. Uh, it is important that for all of us who have the Ghana card, and there's nothing inhibiting us, we, we actually take advantage of this extension that has been given mm. and do the, the SIM registration. Whilst we cater for those who, through no fault of theirs, do not currently have the Ghana card or have challenges with the Ghana card and cannot register, those ones, you know, the collaboration between uh, the telcos, uh, the NCA, the NIE, you know, all of us need to work together to ensure that uh, those categories of uh, uh, subscribers who do not currently have the Ghana card or who, who because of one reason or the other, are unable to register. Now, any common for timelines, the window of opportunity given, would it suffice? Well, it, it depends on a lot of factors. Mm. In future, uh, and Usha, the last data may warn uh, the number of Ghanaians are uh, 15 and above who are eligible to get the Ghana card. Now, a month for a register uh, at least even the first phase. Now, you have about 2.9 million. Now, the government has printed your Ghana card. That's around 808,000 there about. In two the Aluboma, you get about 3.7 something uh, million Ghanaians are almost Ghana card any because as the primary document, no, almost uh, almost to me and just same registration. Now, what divide the and by 61 days, a year from first August to the end of September. Now, what divide the and also by the 275 district offices, any um, reg uh, 16 regional offices are. Uh, Ministry in a while. Then you are you left with about one hundred averagely about one hundred and sixty something registration in a day uh, for seven days in a week. Mm. Uh, would the NCA or would the NIA be able to do that? I don't think so. Mm. That they will be able to issue all of this um, you know, before the end of the period if they continue the way they are going. But what happens is that um uh, uh, you know, yet the registration, voter registration, yet they call close to uh, the citizenry. So, me, my uh, recommendation and you know, humble suggestion to government, they say, and yay, Emma and I, some additional resources, no moon to me, and deploy Omo resources, no, not at the district offices, but at the polling centers, mm. as close as possible to every Ghanaian, mm. you know, with support of you know, a lot of. Uh, uh, media support and the fact said this time I'm on for him say and yet only uh Ghana can pen on Mukaji but almost this almost media almost some registration we'll be able to mop up and do this average one six five a day uh you know and then be able to ensure say I'm on for Nyabinya Omo Ghana card once you've done that then there are other categories of people you need to deal with as well. Mm -hmm. You need to deal with in Crow Foa say say Omo Ghana card but omo uh omo physically challenged. I am a amputee, a war, Omo, Omo Ghana card. So they are unable to register as we see. Mm. It's between the NIA and the Telcos, no? and NCSC, to me, resolve it, uh, sir. You were in Crawford, about 250,000 odd subscribers. As you see, I know, say, Omo try some bay, a four or four no crap. Where are we from NIA? They say, data already sent. You see, there's some data reconciliation issues. I know, no, so as quickly as possible, no. Uh, with the collaboration among the partners, a bit me a resolve it. You won't call for some more register up, no, by that time, maybe you down into your more offline uh, registration. Almost say, you no, know, so as you get to me, I think it, uh, bra, you know, you about online so that I know better. And also, another group of people, you bet me a sort it out. Yeah, who's a book who challenges in book insecurity or book in some of those offices were closed and all of that. Mm. We need to have a way of thinking about it. Uh, you know, uh, then Ghana for a war outside the normal. Uh, yeah, hope you say maybe by the end of this week, you no, know, 
the self app uh, registration app no and no bus are no swap then they would be able to register uh you know where baby or more some more ghana card so many ghana card uh, i think uh, there was some concession of the minister say those categories of people outside any non-resident ghanians could use their passport and then regularize it by the end of the year you need to say and i used to say uh from september and on the call outside acquire registration that also would improve that now then you have uncle for a man here uh maybe a more update and some year or more ghana card in my home as you see and i said so what paga cry so bad and crying and what can say about it but you didn't say and i so i can say uh very soon no i'm gonna be rolling out update services no in the regional capital as well so no many i say so that all of these things that we have to do I uh, say a uh, 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 condition precedent before I bet me I can say you bet me a meaty timeline. So because we'll be a honor through no fault of me panel and the person has not registered that. Definitely for that particular person, it will be injustice if you then uh, bar the person. But there are a lot of us who so are you bet me as uh, so by this time you bet me I register a be more inquiry. Opening me final question has to do with the application na uh woman she in you know, a self-serving app no and you be no as telcos you know have you already cited the application in operation um i i mean himself you know when these things are going on what would happen that the technical people on their integration on their testing any normal i'm pretty sure that has happened but me as a person i have not seen it yet i have not seen it yet all right, uh, since our uh, tech individual, know, uh, some bit of education would help. So this self-serving application would be able to capture, one would be able to capture his or her own biometric information and send it over to the receiving uh, yeah, server. No? I, I, I presume that that's what it should be. <clears throat> okay, this self-service thing, you know, it's one of the things that some of us had been pushing for. We thought that it was important to be able to do that. Because young friend is um men and nebia or asadame, you know maybe anyo be out to be pay. So or on the Ghana card, me so many person maybe third party be abeba a pay or abaya we amano. Me to me a yaman. So I am presuming say from where my engineering hat no. This app would allow you to be able to do the synchronization and then be able the same way our <coughs> agent ne you know, uh, be able to take you know the pictures of the thumb you know prints and the face do the likeness and the liveliness testness and no man and then be able to sync that uh to um the data uh, the database network and then uh, be able to then give you say whether you're successful or not five ghana cities would you pay for that self seven app well, for me, the, the, the opportunity currently, if I walk to any of the telcos almost centers now, there the telcos are paying already for uh, the, the, the using the agent app. I would walk to those places now, especially now that there are no queues there, and go and use that app, you know, to be able to do what I have to do. But do you think Ghanaians will pay? I would not be able to tell. Is that you? Medo has an operator or gentleman on a meeting. Come on, Mr. Medas. Ken Ashby and I, you know, it didn't come up with CEO Emma, a year chamber of telcos, Ghana, you know, Eddie and come about a same card registration exercise. No, 